Hello, Cancer. Happy June. Happy June. This year is halfway over. I think it's crazy <laughs> how quickly everything's moving. Um, but fun. It's been a fun ride. And I think, you know, as, as time goes, things get better and better. And that's what it is. You know, that's what we're here for, to keep it going, keep it, keep it rolling, um, you know, improve and improve and expand. Okay, these cards, both decks have been cleared, blessed, and shuffled off camera. And I'm now going to pull from the Zen deck. I pulled one card to give us sort of a theme for this month's reading from an Oracle deck. It's Doreen Virtues, um, Saints and Angels. That's this deck right here. It's a lovely deck. Love it. And then my good old reliable Zen Tarot deck by Osho. My favorite, my favorite. I love this deck. Okay, so let's see, Cancer, what we've got going on for you this month. What are we going to focus on? The energy of mother. Feminine energy, the energy of creation, um, your literal mother, you literally as a mother, um, anyone that you're nurturing or being nurtured by, okay? So that's the energy you're going to focus on. And for you, Cancer, one who feels so deeply and is so emotional and intuitive, um, this is going to be a lovely time, lovely time for you. Some of you may spend more time um, with Mother Earth this month. How about that? So let's just focus on the divinity of the feminine energy for you this month. Okay, Cancer? This, um, if this is your first time watching, this spread, it's supposed to be a little wider, but the way my table is, it's got to be a, a deep uh, layout here. It's called the Flying Bird. Um, this is our point of takeoff, our point of liftoff, and then we take flight and move through and progress our way through the reading, okay? So your starting point here in relation to the mother card, I pulled clinging to the past. Okay, so Cancer, I know you're a very um, internally focused and emotionally intuitive person, um, and that's a lovely thing. And I know that your memories are, you know, the memories that you have, you hold very dear to your heart. Very lovely, because that makes you who you are. I want you to focus a little more this month on releasing some past energies, even if it's just the slightest little shift for you. If you see this figure, she's clinging, she got her box full of memories. She's so, so entwined in them that she can't really even see the sparkly, beautiful life around her. So I'm not sure if particularly for you this means um, uh, sort of a um, clinging to you know, a feminine energy or your own memories of your own mother, memories of your, um, your own motherhood experience, um, but clinging to the past and, and to the point where you cannot be as fully present as possible we're going to try to ease through some of that energy for you this month okay we're going to try to um, open up and be aware of the wonderful divine energies that are right here in your life now okay this position on, on this spread is called fear of flying since this is the flying bird this is the card that could block it's an internal energy that could block your progress so we're going to try to Focus on moving through that um, first, and then the rest of the month should go well. I pulled the guilt card. Okay, so <laughs> um, the energy of mother and guilt go along, go together so well on so many levels. I'm laughing because I myself am a mother, and I have a mother that I love and adore, and probably have enough guilty feelings over you know, the way I behave toward her sometimes <laughs> that, um, yeah, it's really not. So the guilt is a mind card. You see the, the claws are just clinging to her head. She cannot take it. 
you know, clinging and clinging. These both these cards are talking about clinging. So Cancer, you're guided to um, soften, soften the grip, soften the grip that your mind and your thoughts have on you in relationship to your divine feminine presence in your life and soften the grip you have on the memories of the past, especially those that are making you feel guilty. Um, soften that energy. You're okay. It's okay. We are here now. Everything that's been said and done is said and done. And let's try to create a more, um, a more space for our present awareness. I, my rising sign is cancer. And so as I'm reading this, I'm sorry if I'm laughing, I'm not laughing at you, but I am kind of cracking up inside because I've got my own work to do in these places as a mother and um, as, a, as a daughter. Okay, the um, external, okay, so these two cards, this is where you start. This is your internal energy surrounding it. And those two are very, very um, compatible with each other, but they also hold you in place. The external manifestation or the um, outward action you can take to resolve these energies is this no thingness card. So it's just nothing, but it doesn't mean nothing. It means no thing. As in Buddhist teachings, don't cling to anything. So it's wonderful how we have clinging, <laughs> clinging and clawing. And it's, you're being guided to release that cling, release that grip that these thoughts and memories and um, energies have on you. Don't attach to any specific um, outcome. Don't attach to any specific thought or idea that's holding you back. Let yourself really just be right in the moment. And it's, it's kind of a hard thing to explain, but say you're remembering a memory that brings back brings up some really really struggling difficult feelings for you what you're guided to do here is not sit in that is to sit in exactly the moment you are open your eyes look around look out the window look at the trees see the birds that is life right now these memories are not life right now they're they aren't they're done it's part of who you are now and you can move forward now okay the next internal energy card is the creativity card so i like this because it's guiding you um to dig deep and find a new way of progressing forward for yourself cancer find a new way and if it has to do with your direct relationship with your mother or your direct relationship as a mother with your children um or with like i said you know it could be with the mother earth you could just feel like you these energies could feel like oh, i spent too much time in office buildings all my life and on the freeway in traffic and I am going to let go of that. I'm going to go and spend more time in nature. You know, that this could have multiple meanings, but that divine feminine energy is the central focus of this reading. Your um, thoughts are your thoughts and your feelings about past um, energies regarding this feminine energy are blocking your progress. So you have what it takes to make a change, get creative, find a new way. Find a new way to approach um, your relationships or to approach, you know, your relationship to the divine feminine energy. And then outwardly or in the real world, move about staying connected to your inner voice. Stay connected to it. Um, this is, it's a beautiful card. If you see the figure, the face, okay, and then there's another face and that, that, um, figure is placed right on the third eye here, right on the right on this point of intuition on the central figure, meaning trust your intuition. Just go ahead and like if you think you need to repair this connection that you have with your divine feminine um, in a different way than you ever, like if you think, oh, the best way is to just, um, I don't know, reach out and like, I don't know, let's just say you are you have small kids and they're behaving in a way and it's challenging your 
divine feminine energy, your, your motherhood. It's challenging your sense of, you know, nurturing them because they're not behaving um, in a pleasant way. So you're not feeling like nurturing them at all. It's making you respond in a way that's like, I can't deal with you right now, right? Okay, let's face it. We've all been there if we have small kids. Um, find a way to trust, you know, get creative, shift it, ignore the behavior and send out love. That's it. Stop it in its tracks and say, come here and give me a hug. Give mommy a hug. There are ways to shift energy and you, and you know, you have that power cancer already because you're so, um, beautifully, um, emotionally in tune and you do trust your inner voice a lot so we're being guided to do that more out of the head into the heart okay the next step on our little journey here is the totality card so this is again guiding to be focused in this moment now these past energies aren't going to serve you this moment will and if you stay in the zone and you stay in tune these two go together if you stay in tune with that inner voice with that intuition that you so strongly carry about you're going to find a much you're going to find clarity you're going to see things differently your connections your feminine nurturing relationships are going to change they're going to shift they're going to become deeper and more expansive and it's you have this power this month, um, Cancer, to really shift that. And above all, the outcome of this reading is patience. And look at that. It's the most divine mother card of all. It's this woman who's awaiting to give birth. And she's just having, she's just right there in the moment. It will happen when it happens. The phases of the moon over and over as she creates this new life. Have that, have that divine feminine patience. As women, um, you know, women are ultimate. <laughs> I mean, we're, we are very, very intuitive, very patient, very loving, very nurturing. We do get challenged, you know, and what we're guiding you to do this month, Cancer, is to move past those challenges. Release that stuff. Release the stuff in your mind. Find new ways to go about um, connecting with others. Stay very present, trust your intuition, and above all, be patient. You're going to have a lovely, lovely month, Cancer. I hope that you enjoyed my reading. I really love doing these readings, and I'm just hoping you like them too. Um, every first of the month, I do the Zodiac-based readings, and then weekly, if you stay, if you subscribe to my channel, you'll probably get the updates. Um, subscribe and little tap the little notification bell and you'll get updates automatically. Um, if you look up here in this corner right about now, you can click through to my website and get information on how to receive a customized, more personalized one-on-one -on -one reading from me if you have any particular questions. Um, and other than that, that's about it. I hope you enjoy your summer month, and I will talk to you again, Cancer, in July. Thank you. Bye.